www.10minutegardener.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener we're going to be talking about shit. Great big piles of shit. Now my all-time hero is George Mallory, the first man to climb Everest and he once said the most dangerous thing in life is not taking the adventure. Well he climbed Everest, all I have is this huge pile of shit. Uh, well horse shit really or muck to be more precise and the reason I'm standing on it today is to sort of try and get through to you that if we're going to grow vegetables, tasty vegetables that are worth eating, you know, that have got very little chemicals added to them, you're going to need to use basically gold. You know, you're going to have to use gardening gold. I was taught as a little boy that at the end of the rainbow there isn't a pot of gold, but there's a bag of manure. And I'm very fortunate I can get this delivered in huge amounts. And by adding this to the soil, by adding this to either um, our deep beds or our no-dig gardening, we are feeding the soil, we're feeding the microorganisms, we're feeding all of the life in that soil and that's going to do all our work. Now if you feed your soil you'll get really really healthy plants and vegetables. If you get fertilizer out of a packet and just spray it on it's a bit like giving you steroids, you know, you, it'll grow but you're not going to get all the trace elements and nutrients and everything that you actually need for the tastiest vegetables you can grow. Yeah. Now you may think that this is an odd thing to do. Now what I would say to you is when you're driving along sort of the road, especially if you're in the country, please excuse Ferdinand, this is uh, my Moran cockerel, we're sort of quite close to my chicken pen. Uh, this isn't chicken manure by the way, if you are lucky enough to keep chickens don't use chicken manure straight onto your garden. It's far far too valuable, it's a brilliant activator, great in your compost heap, lots of nitrogen, lots of more nitrogen than in this horse manure and the reason we're talking about horse manure is it's the most commonly available. Like I say you're driving along the road you'll see those little signs where uh, you know lots of children have got ponies. Now really as far as I'm concerned a pony is just a muck making machine. You put five pounds in one end and you get muck out the other. Um, unfortunately it takes a lot of five pounds to get some muck so stop, put your 50p or your pound in the tin, pick up a bag, take it home and you can either compost that for sort of you know six to eight months and then use it or you can dig it in or use it straight away. There's a, there's a lot of myths talked about you know people say this is far far too strong to use straight away. Well it's not. Just leave some muck out you'll find within a very short space of time lots of seedlings grow in it you know it's not hot like it, it used to be in the olden days. When I was a child um, the prevailing smell of autumn was pig manure where I came from in the Midlands you know the, the pig farmers used to clean out their deep littered um, styes and the gardeners used to sort of have it delivered in half ton or ton loads and what we're after in this is the potash and the potassium and the nitrogen available uh, in this muck but it's, it's as much for the structure the soil structure that we are going to use it for so like I say we you want to get as much muck as possible. Uh, it's not the same as your homemade compost but it can be used in a, in a very similar manner. And some of you might be thinking you know there he is standing in a pile of stinky smelly manure. Well it doesn't smell. The closest smell you could imagine this to is if you're walking through a wood or a forest after rain and you get that really earthy smell. It's a healthy earthy smell and I can't reiterate often enough. The more of this you get into your garden, the better. In the autumn you can double dig it in or at this time of the year you can lay it onto uh, a no-dig bed and in the next episode uh, we're going to show you how very quickly you can construct a small no-dig bed at home. Um, we're going to construct it in less than 20 minutes, half an hour and once we've constructed it we're going to plant straight into it. So if you're watching this episode to the beginning of May when we're filming it there's no reason why you can't get on this year and get some great salads, uh, you know, quick veg for the summer out of your garden already.